President of India, Sri Mati Draupadi Murmu, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Sri Ramesh Kari, Professor Suri Gupta, Director of EMC, Distinguished Invitees from the corporate and the academic world, faculty colleagues, I extend a warm and cordial welcome to all of you to IIT Bombay. Today, we have all gathered here on this very momentous occasion to celebrate an important milestone in the journey of cancer care in our country through a deep take engagement of IIT Bombay. We feel deeply honored by the august presence of the Honorable President at this event to dedicate this technology to the country and to the world. The development of this therapy for our cancer patients in India, called as CAR T-cell therapy, is a huge achievement for our country. It places India firmly on the global map of cells and gene therapy. We can take pride in the fact that India is now one of the very few countries in the world that can make its own cellular therapy. This is a testament to the efforts of several scientists, doctors, nurses, and others who worked together relentlessly over the last decade to achieve this goal for our patients. It is not a coincidence that the therapy which requires a stellar research in engineering and cancer care should come out of a collaboration between two global pioneers, that is IIT Bombay and Tata Memorial Hospital. The two institutions have worked together on this complex interdisciplinary project and delivered world-class and hugely impactful outcomes that will touch millions of people who need cancer care. IIT Bombay is one of the pioneering institutes for engineering in India. It has the best of the minds working day in and day out in this beautiful campus to bring solutions for India in various fields such as design, construction, AI, and health. And IIT Bombay is at the forefront of excellence in education, impactful research, and its translation to create social and industrial impact across all facets of the nation's growth. Likewise, the Tata Memorial Hospital embodies excellence in cancer care, which has built its reputation as a premier research center in cancer with several innovations. What, a, what is common between two of centers is a deep and strong desire to develop indigenous solutions to local healthcare related problems, placing India and Indians at the heart of this work. Just like Chandrayaan 3 that launched India's entry into the elite space club about eight months ago, the CAR T cell therapy heralds India's entry into the cell and genetic engineering group. <coughs> Both of these technology milestones have achieved similar impactful results at the global level, but at a substantially lower cost. It's about only four crores in India per patient in the West versus only a handful of rupees 30 lakhs as compared to four crores in the West in India and has helped leapfrog India into the group of technologically advanced countries. Presently, the CAR T cell therapy is in use and has been approved by the CDSCO for patients with different types of blood cancers. This treatment will positively affect the lives of at least 20,000 Indians every day, every year. So, I also know that cell and gene therapies are being actively studied for other diseases such as other types of cancers, autoimmune diseases, and some blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia and thalassemia, which are quite common in the tribal areas in India. We hope that the CAR T cell therapy, as well as several similar therapies, will now be developed further and accelerated to address such diseases prevalent in the country as well as globally. I am delighted to say that some of the patients who benefited from the invention are among us today. I request Professor 
Rahul Purva, the team leader who is behind this innovation and the patients who benefited from this to stand up and acknowledge the Honorable President. It is important that this therapy be made available to all of those in need, not only in the country but also to several other countries who do not have the technical know-how. I urge this eminent research team to find ingenious ways to proliferate this therapy and touch the lives of millions of patients in the country and abroad. In conclusion, I extend my warmest congratulations to each and every one who have helped this development and wish them even greater success for the future. Needless to say, IIT Bombay will continue to strive hard to show that more such type of innovations come out of this institute. Thank you and Jai Hind. अनुसंधान गतिविधि को उद्यमशीलता उद्यमों में बदलने की सुविधा प्रदान करता है 
भारतीय प्रौद्योगिकी संस्थान मुंबई रिसर्च फाउंडेशन उद्योग शैक्षिक सहयोग को बढ़ावा देने वाला एक नवाचार केंद्र है साथ ही ग्राहकों और सहयोगियों के साथ हमारा सहयोग ज्ञान और संसाधनों के दो तरफा प्रवाह को सक्षम बनाता है so that they can take care of real problems in the outside world. We will continue to create tomorrow's leaders who are deeply rooted in science and technology and contributing to the societal goals of the country. Honorable President of India to dedicate the CAR T cell therapy to the nation. <laughs> 